I got a lot of stuff to go over with you guys so please listen up um, first of all I'm gonna show you how to get some very cool free items for your character and for your personal space uh, I have already played Battlefield 3 I played a little bit of the single player I've only got one trophy uh, and that was from the single player then last night I played the multiplayer and I thought it was gonna be a noob I thought it was gonna be some shit but I wasn't I was surprisingly very very good at it and uh, maybe it's because I am a veteran of Battlefield Bad Company 2 and I've, I did very good on it I, you know I loved explosives I love blowing up buildings and um, I knew what type of guns to use to get the job done and I, I was very good I mean I didn't believe I was gonna be that good I was, I was very good and I don't like to play games very very late at night because uh, I used to when I was young I used to have a problem just playing a game and falling asleep but I uh, I was wide awake I was playing it uh, it was it was a very good experience so uh let's get back to PlayStation home if you don't know by now if you got one of these uh, picture frames which I believe it was only 99 cents at the PlayStation Home Mall or you got a free picture frame it doesn't matter you can go to your um, hard drive I'm gonna show you how to do that now uh, press X in front of the picture go to browse pictures and um, what you do now is is a whole bunch of your pictures are gonna pop up you can go through all of them I have over 2,000 pictures so I will not be going over all of them I'm gonna uh, oh god it's this picture right here of we tards I was gonna show that but I guess we're just gonna show um the three top contenders for game of the year on a Nintendo Wii what we're gonna do now is um hmm let's see what we're gonna do is move the picture frame sideways there we go and when you uh... if you feel a little vibration when you're you're um... moving the picture it means that it's, it's, it's definitely correct like this way or straight up and down so if you feel a vibration then you know it's, it's correct so these are the uh, top three contenders for game of the year for the nintendo wii uh... sesame street game a game called party babies which won game of the year for the nintendo wii three years in a row this will be the fourth year that it wins game of the year and of course the newest contender babysitting mama and I, I think it can win you know you don't give up hope i think it can win uh... so um, if you came on PlayStation Home when it first upgraded and you, you played all the new games and all the, visit all the spaces and you got some high scores you got two in-game trophies one here is it's called Private Beta uh, Smuggler Award because I played the Smuggler uh, first person shooter game on PlayStation Home and then it's uh, Private Beta Military Award and along with that Private Beta Military Award I'm going to show you what else they gave so um I'm gonna go there real quick just let me go over this outfit this is a Killzone 3 ISA soldier outfit from Killzone 3 the game the the bottom half the bottom part let me say uh, the neck down is uh, basically Rico's outfit the helmet is from an ISA soldier but uh, this is a full set this is the full set that you win by playing a mini game, a kills on three mini game, and it's all free. You just got to get a high score, and that's it. You get each piece uh, for finishing each little part. So, um, let me show you what they gave us. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. But this is all tying into the same thing. Rewards. You know, you can find out what you get by going to rewards. Like I went to the Crackle Movie Space. I didn't stay long, and this is a part of the video to go over the free movies that PlayStation Home has to offer us uh, they gave me a crackle popcorn bag um, you hold it in one hand um, it's a black red and yellow bag it has popcorn in the bag and uh, of course you know the, the awards I, I showed you the in-game trophy awards and then the military this, which is what we're gonna get to right about now so you do know you can preset your outfits up to 24 
Um, it's very good because, you know, sometimes you want to dress differently. You know, you don't want to be like the people on the Family Guys or the Simpsons. No offense that uh, almost every episode they look exactly the same in the same outfit. Uh, sometimes you want to change, so I've got a lot of presets. So, I'm going to show you the military preset and what it consists of. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the parts that are free. The chest and the bottom. Now the bottom is basically a set. Uh, it combined the pants and the boots. So it's one item. Uh, so if you go to the pants section and you put this outfit on, you, the boots are going to be included into the outfit. So you don't have to put on different types of boots and you can't. If you do, you're just going to mess up the set and you're not going to have that on. You're just going to have boots and whatever's underneath. Um, so the shirt consists of a bulletproof vest, black bulletproof vest, and a green undershirt. And then you saw the pants, uh, black knee pads, black army boots. So uh, what we're going to address is when we walk around PlayStation Home today is what I like to introduce you to as Kid Pyro 2000X. This model of uh, my Pyro 2000X is very very short and he has a book bag on and, and shorts and I was like uh, I should just call him Kid Pyro and that's what I'm going to call him. As you can see he's very 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 short. Um, you see how short he is to the uh, the thing that we were looking at. So we're gonna be running around PlayStation Home like this. Uh, let's let's see where are we gonna go first. First, we're gonna go check back in the Crackle space. Go to navigation. Go over. Go over. Go over. And what you do is go to this little crazy star icon, and it says new and recommended. The loss was what was it? Did it say loot? Yeah, it says loot space station. Um, this is where you can watch the Crackle movies. It's a very big t screen TV, uh, big screen, and uh, movies are gonna be displayed on it. Not this one. Uh, past this, I'm gonna show you. So this is the lounge area. They have their featured loot items. A uh, little pet right there, pet. T-Rex or Raptor that walks around with you. It's basically the actual size, I say. This um, is seems to be a a replica of a a real um space thing, which is pretty cool. They don't do a lot of real, real, real shit. It said USA right there, so that's well. Actually, they do. They do the basketball football and um and a baseball jerseys so they do a couple real things in here but it's not a lot of name brands like Nike's not in here and Jordan but you will see some stuff that'll look like some Nike Airs but it doesn't have the logo you know what I'm talking about it's a space station it's uh has a lounge area chairs couch out here you can see the earth from the space station and right here is the theater entrance you go behind it, go up these steps. Now and, playing um, in PlayStation Home. Luckily, actually, to tell you the truth, right now the movie, the, the movies are about to start. So, you know, it's 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 a voting uncut, thing, basically. Unedited, oh, man, I want to it demand, and it's a voting friends, thing. So you, you come here, and, and let me tell you, there's a crackle hoodie, and as soon as he pops in, you'll see how nice the hood is, or anybody pops in. Uh, it's a crackle hoodie everybody's uh, wearing. I guess I'm gonna get it pretty soon when I, you know, when the movie starts. But um, it's cool. It's an incentive. They give you a box of popcorn and a crackle movie. And of course, they have the little advertisements like any movie theater would. Um, I think it's amazing. I think oh, it popped in. That's the crackle hoodie. Uh, so it's um, it's a hoodie with a zipper on it. Of course, can't unzip it or whatever. Um, it has crackle on the back of the, the hoodie. And, uh, it looks like a movie is about to start, or we're still doing movie previews. Uh, I'm gonna say the quality, the streaming quality, is like, you know, I've told you a lot of times. Sorry, if I'm stuttering. This is all live. I'm, you 
know, tr I'm trying to get my words together live. Uh, these people are pretty happy. They seem to be dancing that we all get to, you know, the Never whole PlayStation Home community, community actually sound. gets to come together and uh, start doing some stuff together. So it's put pretty your life cool. in another man's hands. Um, him to put his life the quality in is amazing. You see what I see we on all my videos. Uh, so we follow I'm watching this in HD. I'm die. playing the game in it's HD. This is the quality you see. Are we clear? The quality I see. Crystal. It looks very, very, very good. Um, a few good men. That looks good. I can't wait for the movie to start. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys can't either. But we're gonna go to the um, private space. the action district to show you the kill zone right. game. I just want to walk you through a little bit of it. Um, I know I'm gonna miss this movie, and it's it's, it's perfectly okay. Um, wow, I can't wait to get back on Battlefield 3. Also, does anybody have Saints Row the Third? It's not a bad game. It's a very good game. I've showed you one video of me walking through it. I'm gonna put some more videos up. Uh, it's so much fun. I, I really want to do the co-op, and I want to get to the zombie mode on there. Uh, if anybody has the game, let me know. Uh, future walkthroughs and commentaries that are going to come up soon or heavy rain um, I'm going to be doing uh, some more commentaries on Motor Storm Apocalypse and uh, Mass Effect 2 and of course uh, one of my favorite games two of my favorite games uh, Time Crisis Raising Storm because I used to play that in the arcade before I watched the movie all the time I love that. That's one of my favorite arcade games and 3D Dot Game Heroes. It brings back a lot of memories of the old school Zelda that I really like because there were more of those than the newer Zeldas. Okay, so this is the kill zone uh, space, a portal to the space. You got a uh, kill uh, hell gas right there with his little flying machine. It's pretty cool. So um, we're gonna be relocating and going back. Um, back to the past I was about to say back to the future we're going back to the past uh, in that period of time when Killzone 3 is about to come out and PlayStation Home changed for Killzone 3 to welcome Killzone 3 um, and you know I'm a big fan of Killzone 3 I don't even know how many times I just said Killzone 3 within a minute but I know it was a lot that's sad I know yeah I'm a big fan of Killzone so uh, we're about to be relocated to the central, the old central plaza, which is not being updated. Let's put it that way. Like, you can't find it anymore unless you play this game or the zombie game. Um, I mean, the Dead Island zombie game. So uh, this is what the central plaza used to look like. Well, this is 50% of what it used to actually look like. And like I said, when I did the commentary for this, space I am amazed now and I'm, I'm still uh, amazed like I was amazed then like look at it just look how they changed everything and, and it's for the better it wasn't for the worse it was it was just look at this the damage I mean they did a good job so let me uh go over here to the um this is the gate at this gate we're going to be transformed into a first person shooter and shooting through the gate not moving we're just going to be shooting through this gate and um we have three waves and this is how the game looks you know you can't get headshots other people the, the cool thing about this is The cool thing about this is everybody else that's in this area, they get to run around and collect different things that's on the, um, outside in the old central plaza. And um, what they gather and send back here to this gate, you can use missile launchers, grenades, stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. We get to back out of here and get ready to say goodbye. Um, like I've said, I can do longer videos, I just choose not to.